Germany with a 2-1 victory over Ukraine today. Stevie Nickel and Shaq are here with us to reflect on this. Stevie, there was a bit of pressure on Yogi Love going into this tie after that 3-3 draw against Turkey midweek. Was there improvement today? Well, I'd have to say yes. Obviously, they, they had been losing late goals to, 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 to either draw or lose games. And, and in this game, they won. Uh, they did have to sweat a little bit at the end, uh, but you'd have to say there was improvement. Uh, they controlled this game. Um, can't quite make my mind up whether they controlled it because they were so good or Ukraine were just a little average. Certainly Ukraine going, going forward bro, were completely toothless. Um, and it took a, a, a stupid challenge from my good old friend, centre-back Sula, <laughs> to actually get Ukraine back in the game when uh, Germany at 2-0 were absolutely cruising. So, if I'm to sum it up, I'd say yes, an improvement, because they did dominate the game away from home. But again, they were sweating at the end, holding on to a 2-1 a lead. Overall, though, Shaq, a much-needed win for Germany. Yeah, a much needed win and it came at, at the right time for, for Germany in that um, this was a Ukraine team that decimated by injury and illness. But Shevchenko um, has certainly turned their fortunes around and you saw shades of that despite the despite the changes that he was forced into making. Ukraine, I, I thought, played very good counter-attacking football, though they, they seem to have to worry Germany at, at times, well, up until what was it, the 85th minute or whenever it was that uh, that Sula, Sula conceded the penalty. Their the only real meaningful chances came at when when the Germans attempted to shoot themselves in the foot by passing the ball out out of the back. Other than that, um, Germany dominated possession. They controlled the game as as you would expect against uh, a second string at best Ukrainian team. I still have concerns. Um, the goals came from a set piece with centre backs linking up, uh, and a goalkeeping error. I, I, I just feel that though Bouchan was clearly Ukraine's best player on the day, I, I'm not convinced by by Goretzka or, or, or Nabry as, as the out and out centre forwards for, for Germany. I, I'm not sure how they fill that void. Who stood out for you for the Germans today, Stevie? Uh, I'd probably have to say Tony Cruz, uh, as usual, picking the ball up, keeping it, making some good passes. Had a couple of shots, was a little unfortunate, um, but he stood out. I mean, the rest were, were okay. Uh, I thought the defence is, is really vulnerable every time. Well, I say every time because it didn't happen that often that Ukraine actually broke. You really thought something was going to happen. I mean... Um, Rudiger, uh, Sula and Ginter, I mean, they really don't have much pace between the three of them. So every time they were actually run at, it was a little bit of panic stations. Uh, so, yeah, Tony Cruz was the best player for me for Germany. Uh, and if I'm uh, Yuki Lu, I'm, I'm a little worried, not only what Shaka was saying about putting the ball in the back of the net, but, but defending big time. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.